micro processor is a main component of the motherboard it fabricated a single and integrated circuit chair when the come on port port is a place where we can able to insert the additional devices to your computer how exactly motherboards are characterized by which way it is classified that can be in three format one is form factor chipset factor and one more is socket welcome back to one and all myself vasanta lecturer in computer science vidyashram pre university college temple of excellence mysore today we will start with the first session that is the revision class on typical configuration of computer system whereas in the annual exam from this chapter you will get two question in part a one question as well as in part c one question whereas in part a one marks you will get and in part b only one question that question carries three marks totally four marks you will get from this chapter four marks weightage you have on this chapter but as already you come to know one marks one question as well as three marks one question it is very simple questions from this chapter you will get now one by one we will discuss the questions but as on this chapter for one marks you are going to get the question what is or expand what is motherboard or expand some of the components like ports what do you mean by ports which are the different types of ports what do you mean by slots which are the different types of slots how exactly it will work the expansion of ups that is uninterruptible power supply why we require this ups then how power supply can be given to a computer what do you mean by smps that is switch mode power supply then what is the use of that smps how exactly this smps will work regarding that you may have to get that question first we will discuss about what is microprocessor whereas microprocessor is a main component of the motherboard microprocessor is a main component of the motherboard it fabricated a single and integrated circuit chip the microprocessor is nothing but the main component in the motherboard we are going to get and here all the components are integrated here and the next one you have what is bus when they come on bus this question you want to get for one marks as well as for three marks when they come on bus bus helps to transfer the data from one component of the computer to another component of the computer for example it's a collection of parallel wires here is a collection of parallel wires that form a pathway to carry address data and control signals called bus when you come on bus generally the bus what is the main work of bus it will transfer the people from one place to another place in the same way when you come on bus here also it helps to transfer the control signals as well as address from one component of the computer to another component of the computer when you come on the classification of bus internal bus as well as you have external bus how exactly this internal bus what are the major components it will connect and when you come on external bus there it helps to transfer the data from external devices to computer then under that once again we have address bus control bus as well as data bus whereas data bus helps to transfer the data from one component of the computer to another component whereas address bus helps to transfer the address data bus helps to transfer the data whereas control signal bus helps to transfer the signals from one component of the computer to another component of the computer whereas here to transfer the information data address as well as control we need bus when they come on what is system bus whereas the bus which connects the major computer component such as processor memory input output is called it as system bus or as well as internal bus mainly it will connect the major components like processor memory input output all those things majorly here it will connect already i told you when the common bus two types internal bus as well as external bus whereas internal bus will connects the processor memory as well as input output devices here next one 
what is port when we come on port port is a place where we can able to insert the additional devices to your computer if you turn the cpu inside the back side inside the cpu there is a holes there is a place there we can able to insert the additional devices consider this is your cpu on that cpu in the back side you have some holes some places that place can be called as port this mainly helps to insert the additional devices to your computer where it may be keyboard or any devices mouse like that we can able to insert that to this ports ports is a place where we can connect the external devices a socket used to connect external devices to the computer is called ports but when the come on slots there is a difference between ports and slots whereas ports is nothing but place there we can connect the external devices whereas slot is nothing but when you open the cpu inside there is a place where we can able to insert the additional devices like memory devices or to increase the sound we are inserting the sound card like that that can be called as slots whereas slot is also opening port is also opening whereas ports are present inside the cpu especially in the back side of cpu will get whereas slots are the place where we can able to insert the additional devices to increase the personality as well as the capacity of your system we are using that whereas here use it to connect the external devices next you have the question pci whereas pci stands for peripheral component interconnect because in the question you have expand you have to keep it in your mind whether the question is expand or what is whereas on this chapter you may want to get all the expansions like which are the different types of blue ports which are the different types of slots what do you mean by ups or expand ups which are the different types of ups what do you mean by cache memory like that these are the major questions you will get from this chapter whereas pci that is but peripheral component interconnect helps to connect the peripheral devices like this expansion for one mark majority of the time they used to as a expansion only next expand usb that is universal serial bus universal serial bus whereas in the port also you have usb port usb slots also there whereas usb stands for universal serial bus next give the expansion of ddr ram because already i told you from this chapter majority of the time you will get the questions only on expansions in part a whereas in part c for one marks you want to get the questions like what do you mean by ups or which are the different types of ups how power supply can be given to a computer then what do you mean by cache memory or explain any three ports or explain any three slots or explain the components of motherboard like that you may to get the questions for three marks whereas here expand ddr ram whereas ddr stands for double data rate random access memory when you come on rom read only memory ram random access memory for expansion also you want to get expand ram rom which are the different types of ram which are the different types of rom how exactly it will work like that you may want to get the questions next expand isa whereas isa stands for industry standard architecture industry standard architecture whereas well, when the come on the explain the characteristics of motherboard on that we have form factor chipset factor and one more is processor socket it means that when the come on the characteristics of motherboard how exactly motherboards are characterized by on which way it is classified that can be in three format one is form factor chipset factor and one more is socket whereas here when the common form factor it refers to the motherboard geometry the geometry of the motherboard dimensions arrangement and electrical requirement advanced technology extended is the most common design of motherboard 
it means that how exactly the motherboard is arranged the dimension the arrangement geometry by that also we can classify the motherboard and one more by using chipset whereas here chipset it controls the majority of the resources of the computer it will control the majority resources where when they come on the resources the resource may be memory or it may be space or i can say the data that can be called as here resources it controls the majority resources of the computer the main function of chipset is to coordinate data transfer between various components of the computer mainly it will coordinate transfers the data between various components of the computer whereas the first one is form factor second one is chipset factor and the third one is processor socket when the common processor socket it may be the rectangular connector how exactly the rectangle it is connected especially the socket how it is mounted and into which the processor is mounted with many small connector into which the processor is directly inserted how exactly the sockets are placed whether it's in a rectangular shape or in on which shape exactly it is mounted depending upon that also we can classify the motherboard when i come on that characteristics of motherboard form factor chipset factor and one more is processor socket and the next question is explain the different components of motherboard when we come on the components there are certain types of components whereas here it's a three marks question then you have to explain any three components of motherboard when we come on there you have slots ports ram everything is there but any three if you explain that is enough the first one is the processor when we come on the components of motherboard under that the first one is processor whereas processor or the cpu i can say the processor or cpu is the main component of the motherboard usually with the help of processor only we can identify which type of computer it is that is here processor can be called as brain of the computer processor is nothing but cpu depending upon the cpu only we are classifying which type of computer it is and it consists of arithmetic logic unit that is alu helps to perform arithmetic logical operation and control units whereas control units helps to control the overall operation of the computer and the next one is bias whereas bias the expansion also you may to get in the exam bias stands for basic input output system basic input output system it is a small chip on the motherboard that holds a set of instruction to load the settings required to activate the devices like keyboard monitor or drives especially here it will controls all input as well as output devices the name itself suggesting basic input output system it helps to control your input devices as well as your output devices whereas processor is the main component of the motherboard and here it contains arithmetic and logic unit control unit as well as register also i can mention but when i come on register register is a temporary storage unit and it stores intermediate data whereas bias helps to control input output devices the next one is cmos any components you can explain whereas here i explained any three that is processor bias and cmos cmos stands for complementary metal oxide semiconductor complementary metal oxide semiconductor this also you want to get for expansion for one marks on that it is a type of memory chip to store date time and system setup parameters whereas cmos helps to store the system date and time for example in consider on your mobile you will switch off the mobile after few time you will switch on it once again then automatically time as well as date everything will update is it no no need to update each and every time here also 
when I switch on the system or when I shut down the system on that time after few time if I once again if I on the system then also automatically date and time will be updated is it not automatically it will update that work is done by CMOS that is complementary metal oxide semiconductor helps to control the system date and time set up and here with this you may to get the questions like what do you mean by cache memory whereas cache memory helps to process the data or access the data which are recently we accessed and on that also you can able to process how exactly the cache memory will work which are the types of cache memory that is l1 cache as well as l2 cache like that you have to get the question otherwise what do you mean by ups uninterruptible power supply whereas uninterruptible power supply means it helps to supply the power to your system when there is no main power supply when we come on types of ups offline ups as well as online ups that question also you may to expect on this chapter whereas on today's class which are the major concept you have studied under that one marks question you will study regarding the expansions and for three marks question what do you mean by ups cache memory the characteristics of motherboard or components of motherboard or you may to get the question explain different types of ports or explain different types of slots how exactly these ports will work how exactly these slots will work then in the next class once again we will meet you with a new chapter that is boolean algebra whereas in boolean algebra you will have highest weightage and it's a problem oriented chapter if you know the problem all the postulates formulas then easily you can solve the problems because there one major question you will get that is on k map how to solve the k map how to use k map to reduce the equation and how to solve the any equation by using perfect induction method or by algebraic method or by using true table method regarding that we will explain in the next session thank you for all of you